Good morning, Modern Setters. This morning we're going to be working on our concrete desk project build. We need to be building the cabinet out of our rough sawn lumber here. We're going to be using these metal file holders for our drawers. I'll show you in a second the rest of the desk project we have built. But let's check and see how dried out our rough sawn lumber is. We have our moisture meter here. We're at 4.9% and last week we were at 20 in some areas. So I am happy with that. Go upstairs and show you the rest of the desk. So we have our core bell for the support for the concrete desktop on the left side and on the right side we're going to be making our rough sawn lumber cabinet for those file cabinet trays and then we'll paint it and antique it to match the core bell. It's a little chilly outside this morning. It's like five degrees out there. So we're gonna do as much work as we can inside before we go outside to do the cuts. But last week, when we cut all of our boards down to a rough length, I kept them long. So that way when they dry up, I know they're gonna shrink. So the first thing we need to do is we need to mark them all out to our overall length, which is 28 and an eighth, and get five of them cut to that length. These pieces right here are going to be our side panels. They're going to be the main part of our cabinet that we're building. Since our boards are over 8 inches wide, I'm going to be using our DeWalt battery operated skill saw to cut them. Because of our chop saw, you'd have to flip them over anyway. So let's just keep testing out our new skill saw. I finally replaced the blade on our table saw. It had been dull for a pretty long time. I should have replaced it back when we were building the outdoor kitchen, but I didn't. If you haven't seen our outdoor kitchen project build, I'll put a link to that playlist right here. Now we need two strips two and a half inches wide to finish making our cabinet as wide as we need it. Yeah, I should have replaced that blade a long time ago. That made a big difference. For our basket supports and what's gonna hold our panels together, we need six strips, 21 inches long by an inch wide. I'm gonna cut that out of this board.
Now we need to get our cabinet sides screwed and glued together. What we're using is our one inch strips that we just ripped down. These are going to serve two purposes. They're going to hold all of our boards together and it's where we're going to put our other boards to make our shelves so our metal bins can have a shelf to set on. A couple of things we need to remember. The front of our shelf, I'm going to have it faced off with a piece of rough lumber. So I need to set our brace boards the width of the rough sawn lumber back from the front edge. And then I also need to pre-drill all of these, only being a one inch wide strip. If I don't pre-drill them and countersink, they'll split. We don't want that to happen. So let's go ahead and mark our layout for our screw holes and we'll get those pre-drilled. To do this, I'm gonna use my combination square, lay my three boards together, space them roughly an inch off the edge, then I'm just going to mark where I think we need to pre-drill a hole. Three holes per board for the wide boards would be nice. We don't want to go too close to the edge. Being rough sawn lumber, everything is not square, which is fine. We want that rough look, so when we're building it, we need to realize it's not perfect, nor do we want it to be perfect. Then on the little edge, I want two, and I just want to mark them. I can't have them too close to either edge, otherwise they'll split the board. The nice thing about the new combo kit is I got a drill and an impact driver. I can use the drill to drill out my holes and keep the bit in the impact driver to screw these in place. Now I know where I can put my glue. Mark where my center shelf's gonna go. This is kind of what we're thinking. I gotta make the shelves for the bottom one to sit on, shelf for that one, and then the top. That's gonna look nice. Just wanted to make sure the width I had written down was correct, and I like it. Now that I know my width is correct, I can cut all my shelf boards to the correct length, and then I can figure out how many we're gonna need to make the depth. These ones need to be 14 and a half inches long. So we're gonna set our fence. Now we don't have to keep adjusting our stop. The boards are gonna hit that. Boom, perfect.
want to flush everything up and figure out how deep I need my shelves before we start ripping everything on the table saw. It's gonna be like this. This will take care of our last shelf board. Now, we need to figure out our front pieces for our shelves. We can get them glued and screwed on to the front of the shelves. I'm gonna figure out how wide we need these. We can do that, that'll look pretty nice. I decided I like two inches for that last front edge strip. I'm just gonna square up our fence, lock it in place, and I'll make two rips. Okay, nothing squared up right now, but this is what it's gonna look like once it's all glued up. Oh, that's gonna look marvelous. I'm excited for that. Let's get the front edge put on the two front shelves. And then our top one is gonna look like this. That's gonna look nice. I'm excited. I like that edge. Same thing for the middle shelf. That's gonna make a nice front edge. All right, well that's where we're gonna have to stop today while everything dries. Tomorrow we can assemble it, sand it, and hopefully get some paint on it. I'm getting excited for this desk project. It's starting to look better and better the farther along we get. I'm glad you came along on this build project with us. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. We'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.